A mix up at the polls. Ingham County officials are making sure the midterm election results for one local school board race is actually correct. It turns out some residents who don't live in East Lansing were handed East Lansing ballots, so they ended up voting for school board members in the wrong district. Fox 47's Carla Byron talked with district candidates who are calling the mistake alarming. Mistakes happen. The first 122 voters who showed up at Foster Community Center in Lansing were given East Lansing School District ballots. The problem, 88 of those people were not East Lansing residents. That precinct is split between two school districts, so there are different candidates and different offices on the ballot. Swope says the East Lansing and Lansing ballots were placed into the same bag, and that's what caused the confusion and led up to the precinct workers handing out the wrong ballots. Swope says after becoming aware of the mistake, every voter afterwards was given the right ballot. We trained those people and we had gone over this in training, uh, but apparently somehow it didn't click. The votes ended up being counted. We've reached out to the state. There isn't a remedy that the state has provided. The state, the County Board of Canvassers is currently working on certifying the election. The Lansing School District elections were uncontested, so their outcome wasn't affected. But the East Lansing unofficial results show fourth place candidate Kath Edsel leading fifth place Noel Garcia by only 60 votes. Garcia told us this. We must confirm that the reported irregularities have not affected the outcome of the election by denying people their right to vote or allowing people to vote in the wrong election. Whether the race's results would be affected, Byram said this. Ingham County results rarely change much after the state after the county board of canvassers meet. So there likely won't be much change in what the unofficial results are as published, but once they are certified, I will certainly be certifying the results and alerting all of those individuals who were elected. And that was Carla Byron reporting. We also reached out to Kath Edsel, who referred us to City Clerk Chris Swope. Swope says he's taking responsibility for the mistake, saying he's debriefing election workers and taking steps to make sure this doesn't happen again. The County Board of Canvassers may take up to two weeks to certify those results. We'll let you know what the results are when they're finalized.